Hello, everybody. Welcome to Monday. The S&P 500 was up 0.1% today. Uh, it was actually a pretty good accomplishment altogether. Uh, we still have two green signals on our stock market, uh, both fast and slow. Uh, the bond market did turn to yellow today on the fast signal uh, and still is green on the slow signal. We'll be making some adjustments to our IRA type accounts in the bond section uh, tomorrow. Uh, so the market was down as much as 0.8% today uh, before kind of rallying back. And mainly it was down because on Friday, we got the jobs report. It was slightly higher than expected, although I thought the jobs report was pretty good altogether, kind of fell right into that uh, zone that you know wasn't too hot or too cold. Uh, and I thought it worked out pretty well. Market, I think, you know, did end up today uh, partly because that report wasn't that bad. But the other thing that drove down the market uh, was somewhat interesting in that Apple reported that their PC sales were down uh, pretty substantially, actually. And uh, so, you know, we're heading into earnings season here. So there's some worry about what's going to be happening with the earnings. And uh, Samsung had recently announced that they're cutting back on semiconductor production and what have you, too. Uh, they're a big global provider. So things are slowing down, uh, probably especially in that tech area. This is not anything new. Uh, matter of fact, it's not even anything, I think, all that concerning. To a certain degree, things have to slow down. If they don't slow down, inflation won't come back down. Uh, and so really what we're just trying to do is get things to slow down enough to bring down inflation, but not so much that it creates a recession. Uh, and so far, that's what's been happening in this kind of soft landing, you know, the Goldilocks zone, whatever you want to call it, is kind of where we're, we are at the moment. You know, the, the demand that the demand that is out there has been enough to kind of offset the higher interest rates. And we've had some problems and some different things that have happened. Uh, but so far, things are going OK. Uh, you know, the market is still expecting a rate increase in May. Uh, so we'll see how that happens. But the market is still expecting some rate decreases towards the end of the year. And if that turns out to be true, that's because we're in some type of recession that the Federal Reserve is responding to. But again, those things are scenarios where the stock market can do quite well, uh, especially when rates start to come back down. Uh, the market is looking forward, you know, kind of that six to 18 months. Uh, and so, you know, we've had a run up here since the middle of October and we're still hanging in there. So uh, pretty good market. We'll see how it goes tomorrow uh, and look forward to seeing you then. Thank you very much.